What's going on guys? My name is Adam Marie Pulsbox, and in this video we're gonna do something a little bit different for the gaming channel. And keep in mind this is still my gaming channel, so I'm not gonna be doing this regularly other than for video games, although I do have something coming special uh, in a, about a week after, I re after I'm recording this. But this is Retro City Rampage 486 edition. Yeah. It comes on a freaking floppy disk. This is for i486 processors. This is old school DOS game, basically. And so, this of course will come with the Steam key of the recently released title, but it even has IBM and MS-DOS compatible like spec requirements and things like that. It does say 3.5 inch, high density, 1.44 megabyte floppy disk version, supports keyboard, joystick, and gamepad. Recommended that you have a Pentium or faster processor. Required 486DX IBM PC or 100% compatible PC. Four megabytes of RAM are required. Can't tell if I'll have that. <laughs> 3.4 or 3.7 megabytes of hard disk space, 256 color VGA graphics, and MS-DOS 3.3 or higher. I hope I have that. But this is Retro City Rampage. This is with a full like collector's edition box created by the, the guys over at Indie Box, which is a monthly subscription box for this kind of stuff where they take indie games and make collector's editions physical boxes out of them. No, that's not a sponsored plug. I just want to give them a shout out for this because this is freaking amazing. And this is a limited edition. I have number 829 out of 1,000. Only a thousand of these are gonna be made. So I will have a link to them in the description below in case there's some left. You can pick yourself up a copy if you think you'd want it after this is over. But now I'm about to drop it. Let's get into the unboxing. All right, here we have the Retro City Rampage 486 box right here. In the front you can see it says, V Blank Entertainment Inc, Retro City Rampage 486. And then it has the IBM and MS-DOS compatible system requirements. It includes open world or incredible open world action. Then on the back, you can see it's number 829 out of 1000. The entire open world is in danger of you. You are the player. You were out for a friendly frolic of crime capers when suddenly ambushed by evil good guys. They will stop at nothing to end your rampage of doom, threatening the citizens of Th Theftropolis City. Are you bad enough to defeat the evil good guys? In Retro City Rampage 486, you can take the wheel with five-figure discounts and an over 50 vehicles. Wield over 20 weapons that will make you say, whoa. Run down innocent pedestrians and hear the magnificent monophonic modulated sounds. Order a pint of milk from the barkeep to avoid taking responsibilities for your actions. So, pretty cool. Let's get the box open. And again, this should actually come with a Steam copy of the game as well. For those who don't actually want to play the 486 version the whole time and all of its pixelated monophonic sound goodness. All right, Let's see if we can't gently open this box here. And slide out our goodies. All right, we have a full color instruction manual. Holy crap, you don't see those anymore. Got like art and notes from the author, controls, configuration, top secret zone with a bunch of random stuff. Looks like cheat codes on the top secret zone. That's really cool. Concept art, behind the scenes stuff. Pretty cool. All right, what else we got here? Yep. We have our Steam key of the game, which I'm fine showing because I will redeem by now. It comes on its own dedicated card, includes the PC, Mac, Linux, and MS-DOS version, plus Windows 3.1 prototype version. We've got a map on one of the little cloths. It's a map of the world. That is pretty sick. It's on just one of those little microfiber cloths that use to clean lenses and glasses and stuff. But it's got the RCR map on it. That is awesome. I approve. I definitely approve. We've got some funky glasses here. They're... <laughs> Both sides are red, but some sort of funky glasses for viewing the top secret information on there. I guess it filters out the red, so you can get your cheat codes and things like that. And then we have the floppy disk with the 486 version. It's actually on a 3.4 megabyte floppy disk. For MS-DOS version 1.0 for IBM PC and 100% compatibles. V-Blank seal of quality. I mean, it's a legit floppy. I can't set it. There we go. Floppy, 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 floppy. Like this will, 
if you have a 486 IBM, it will pop in and play. So that's pretty freaking cool. So this is, this is awesome. I, well worth my money for this type of collector's edition, in my opinion. This video is brought to you by Control Freak, the top performance enhancing console gaming accessory. Their FES Freaks are next gen ready and will help give you a competitive edge. Use promo code EPOSVOX at checkout to save 10%. Click the screen to learn more. I do hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Be sure to smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome gaming videos. I'm trying to kick these up a notch over here on this channel. My name is Banana Marie Post Box. This is going to go quite lovely on one of my shelves. I'm not sure which one. I will slide it right there for right to now. It's gonna fit great in my collection. I'm trying to get more big box PC games. Obviously that's a newer one, not an older one, but still trying to beef up my collection. I have a lovely shelf of stuff. I'll do a tour of here soon. And yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.